gonna start on our backs today. So just reclining back, put something under your head, maybe even head and shoulders. And then bring your feet flat on the mat, bending the knees. And just begin to check in with your breath for a minute. You're still getting your props and stuff. Really feel your belly expand, feel your ribs expand. Just take a few really deep breaths. Expanding the lungs as much as you can. And then begin to engage your transversus abdominis. So draw the lower belly in. Think of pulling your hip bones apart with that activation. And then drawing navel gently to spine. The energy comes in and up as your ribs draw down and together. And take a few deep breaths here, expanding the rib cage in all directions. So the ribs expand out and back. And take a few deep breaths there into the lungs, keeping the navel activated, that Pilates breath. Yeah. And then keep that breath going. Begin to rock your pelvis forward and back. So bring your navel to spine, drop your low back. <laughs> Into the mat, that's a 12 o'clock position or tucked position. And then allow your low back to lift up off the mat. Drop your tailbone to the floor. And just move with your breath back and forth. Just make sure you're keeping the navel activated. It's gonna limit your pelvic um, tilts a little bit, but keeping that core engaged, really getting a nice stretch of the spine, the lumbar spine. Using your core engagement to do the work. We're gonna add a little arm work into it and a little bridging. <clears throat> arms up to the ceiling, palms facing one another. We're going to take a deep inhale, lift the hips up to the sky, keep the core engaged. As you exhale, roll down one bone at a time, back to the start position. And then lift the arms back up, take a deep inhale, exhale to lift this time. Inhale a nice long spine. And then as you exhale, lift the arms as you roll the spine down one bone at a time. So sending upper back, mid back, lower <coughs> back, and then pelvis back down to the mat. Just go with your breath, do that a few more times. Coming up into your bridge and then articulating the spine down, getting as much movement into the spine as you can. And do two more rounds here. Think of engaging the outer hips. And then go ahead and bring your hands back down to the mat. You can rock your knees side to side. And we're going to do some reformer on the mat work today. So this is kind of like the work we would do on the reformer machine in Pilates. So we're going to go ahead and grab your block or whatever you've got to place under your sacrum and articulate up into a bridge and then place that block or whatever you've got, even if it's your hands in the diamond shape, 
Go ahead and place that right under your sacrum. And make sure it's not clear down at your tailbone. You don't want to hurt your tailbone here. And then we're going to bend one knee into the chest and then the other start out here with the legs in that 90 degree bend. We're going to be pushing down with the arms to keep the arms active and we're going to reach the fingertips away here. So take a deep breath as you exhale, really engage your abdominals deeper. Draw those hip bones apart, activating the lower core. And then we're going to work to reach our legs up to the ceiling and bend back in. So keep the core engaged, move with your breath, get a little stretch of the hamstrings to get us going. And really reach your heels up to the sky. And then we're going to bend the knees into our chest. Take your feet and put them into a V, our Pilates V. So the heels are together, toes are apart. Yeah, you got it. So we're going to start here, knees and towards the chest. And we're going to frog it out, zip the inner thighs, fire the glutes as the legs go out to 45 and draw them back in. So keep that core nice and engaged. Keep the ribs drawing down. Keep pressing down with the arms. Activate through those triceps. And if you feel it in your low back, if it's hurting your low back, don't completely straighten your legs. Keep a little bend in the knees as you go out. And then also think of the knees only going shoulder width apart as you bring them in. So don't take them out too wide. Let's do a few more here. So hug the knees in, rock them side to side. We're going to go with parallel feet next. <clears throat> So think of the outside edges of your feet being parallel with your yoga mat. So really kind of take um, your toes in a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing here, pushing down with the arms. Take a deep inhale, draw your belly in, and send the heels out and draw it in. Just flowing with your breath. Same thing with the low back. If you feel anything in your low back, keep it bend to both knees. Just try to keep that bend the same. All right, it's looking good. Keep drawing the ribs down. Couple more. Nice, hug the knees in, circle the ankles. This time we're gonna send the legs out and we're gonna try for a little fold. So re-engage through your belly, push down through the arms. <coughs> we're gonna send the legs out. So hold the bent knee if you need to. Reach for straight and point and flex the toes. Try to keep holding out if you can and circle the ankles. Keep that belly engaged. Trying not to arch through the low back. And pull the knees in. Rock them side to side. We're going to send the legs up. Again, point and flex through the ankle. Try to make sure that both knees are bending the same amount. 
The core is engaged. We're gonna draw the legs together and begin little lower lifts. So squeezing those feet together, only lowering the legs such that you can keep your ribs drawing down. So when your ribs begin to lift, that's when you need to stop with the lowering. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah. We're still on the block. Still on the block, yep. Just making sure. Yeah. Good, couple more here. And now we're gonna try to lift up off the block. So you can keep the legs to the ceiling and just engage the lower belly to float up off your block. Or you can lower the legs down to about a 45 and then lift. So play around with that. Keep drawing the ribs down. Nice, look at all those legs going up in the air. Yeah, my butt's moving a quarter inch. <laughs> hey, a quarter inch is moving. Nice, hug the knees in, rock them side to side. Good, go ahead and bring your feet down. Slide the block out from under your sacrum now. And do some windshield wipers. So take the knees to one side and another. We've got our lower core activated for sure. So let's bring the hands behind the head now. Feet flat on the mat, no block under the sacrum. And bring your elbows up to the ceiling and then send them out wide a few times. Try to find your neutral pelvis and then find a medium point with your elbows so that they're not out as far as you can take them, but they're where you can draw your upper back and your armpit muscles all engage. So the head is gonna be lifted a little bit. Let's take a deep inhale, exhale, curl it even higher. Inhale, lower it all the way down or just part way down. So you can keep it lifted or lower. We're gonna exhale, curl the chest up. Inhale the lower down towards the mat. And just flow with your breath a couple times, looking down towards your belly. The pelvis is still. The ribs are drawing together. And then we're going to hold, look towards your belly, curl the chest up, use the back muscles to engage and lift you even higher and reach the arms out long towards your feet just up over your hips keep reaching breathing send the ribs out wide as you breathe relax your jaw and neck good hold inhale send it down send the arms overhead but don't let the ribs come up. So keep the ribs down and engaged, keep the core engaged. Do a couple arcs with your arms, inhaling up, <coughs> down. And then move into your arm circles. So send the arms down to the hips, open out wide, circle them up. Trying to keep those ribs engaged, the belly engaged, so only the shoulders are moving along the rib cage. Reverse your circles. Arms come up, out, and then draw to the hips. Good. 
Yep, so just notice how your shoulders are feeling this morning. And then relax the arms down a minute. We're gonna move into our hundreds, our breathing exercise where the arms are pumping up by the hips. So you can leave your feet flat on the mat. You can lift them to 90 degrees for this exercise. You can float them to the ceiling or begin to lower them down. So that all adds difficulty. So you can experiment with where your feet are during the hundreds. If you want to start with legs lifted, maybe start with the knees bent to that 90 degrees. Bring the arms up to the ceiling. Take a deep inhale to send them overhead. We're going to exhale, curl up into your position. And take a deep inhale for a count of five. And exhale, count of five. Nine more of those. Exhaling. Reach the arms long. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, keep lifting, engage the back body. Inhale. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Nice, keep going, we're almost there. Exhale and hug it in. Hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Good work. <coughs> then bring one knee to the chest, or you can roll to your side and come up. But we're going to send one leg long and <laughs> use it to bring us back up to a seated position. Nice. Check in a moment. We're gonna bring the feet about hip width apart out in front of us. And think of pushing the feet away so that you're activating your legs. We're gonna bring our hands right behind the knees and then send your elbows out wide. So feel the back and armpit muscles, all these muscles reaching to draw the shoulder blades down the back. And we're going to curl our spine, think round spine, and you're going to look down at your belly button. So looking towards the navel, spine is rounded, navel's in and up under the spine. We're going to exhale and roll it down. Take a breath here. Keep rounding that lumbar spine down towards the mat. Keep the elbow or the yeah, the elbows out wide, shoulders away from the ears, still breathing. On your next inhale, head comes to knees. And then untuck the pelvis, begin to stack the spine right up straight. Take a deep breath here. As we exhale, we're going to round and roll back. Send those elbows out, drop the shoulders. Take a breath. Inhale, head comes down towards the knees. Untuck the pelvis, stack the spine up straight. Think of it happening bone by bone. Deep inhale, exhale, round it back. Look to the navel. Elbows are out. And bring your head towards your knees. Untuck the pelvis, roll it up. We're gonna do two more here. Go lower and lower each time. So exhale, round it, look towards the belly. To go lower, you can walk your hands back towards your tailbone. Keep looking at your belly button, drawing the navel in. Then walk your hands back up. Take your forehead towards your knees with a round spine. <coughs> Untuck the pelvis, stack it up straight. One more. Deep inhale, and then exhale, tuck and round. Looking at the belly, walking the hands down, take a breath. Inhale, walk the hands back up, head to knees. Round the spine a moment, just feel that nice rounding. Stretching out the spine, drop the shoulders from the ears. 
And then untuck the pelvis, stack it up straight. Yeah, shake it out a second. Nice work. Do a little bit of rocking and rolling. So make sure you've got room behind you and your props are okay. And then we're gonna round the spine again and we're gonna rock back onto our sacrum and take the legs up. So you can keep the legs up or you can tuck them in, holding either behind the knees or holding your shins. Think of rounding your spine, look towards your belly using your core to activate the movement, begin to rock back and forth. And you're kind of hinging from the ribs here, rounding the spine, looking towards the belly. Elbows are out to activate the mid back. Yeah, nice, Marcia. So begin to move with your breath. You can inhale, roll back to your shoulder blades and exhale to roll back up. Or if that doesn't feel good to your spine, just keep balancing here. And thinking of your legs, not changing where they're at. So keep your heels the same distance from your tailbone so that you're using your core for the movement and not the legs. A nice little massage feels really good when you're on carpet. Which I am. All right. I had to get two mats out. One mat was hurting. Oh no. Yeah. And then take a deep inhale, send the legs out long. And just take a little forward fold, flex out, stretch out the hamstrings. Roll the ankles around again. And then come down onto your belly. <coughs> Draw the pubic bone down to the mat. Send your feet as wide as you need to to make the low back feel good. They can be hip width apart or wider. To start, let's just take our hands in that diamond shape, place them right under your forehead. Press the palms down into the mat and think of pushing the mat away from you. Really feel how that draws the shoulder blades down the back, activates the back body. Forehead is in that diamond on your hands. As you inhale, you lift head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, lower head down. Draw the navel to spine, make sure you've got the core engaged, push the tops of the feet into the mat, and just flow with your breath a few times. Inhaling up, exhaling to lower. You can begin to leave your hands with your forehead. We're lifting the elbows out wide as you raise up. Send the arms out into a T and flow a few there. And then bring your hands under your shoulders, push back, find a child's pose. And then if you have your weights, grab your weights, only if they're not too heavy, unless you're Joe, and then you need like 25 pounders or something. Thank you. We're going <laughs> to bring them out, um, bring your hands into a Y shape and just have your weights there. Bringing your forehead back down to the mat. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Feel it lift the kneecaps. Engage the back body, 
As we inhale, we're just going to take the arms and we're going to lift up, not the weights this time. Head, neck, and shoulders, arms out in a Y. Superwoman. And then in, inhale, lower back down. Let's do that two more times. We're going to lift, float the arms up, shoulders are going down the back and lower. And lift, push the tops of the feet down, lower. Grab your weights this time if you want to. Make sure the belly is engaged, the pubic bones pushing down. As you inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders. You can sweep the hands with the weights down to the hips and then send them back up. Let's do that three times. Keep pushing the tops of the feet down. And then lower head back down. And let's do that one more time. On your next inhale, float the head, neck, shoulders. Weights or no weights, we're gonna sweep the arms down and back, really reaching the hands, sweep them up into that Y. Two, and one more. Lower the Hands under the shoulders, push back, find your child's pose. Nice work. You should be feeling your shoulders now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, go ahead and push up. Let's come standing. I'm gonna move my screen, make sure you can see me. So grab your weights, if you want weights. Take your right arm up to the ceiling, your left arm down. Make sure your shoulders are reaching down your back. Have your feet hip width apart. A little bit pigeon toes so that the outside edge of your feet are parallel. Think of that inner thigh is rolling out and the weight is up here in the hips so you're not gripping with your butt. And then the right arm is up and the left arm is down. <laughs> Take a minute there to check in. Try to relax through the quads and the butt. Feel the outer hip engage. That's what's supporting you. Take a deep inhale, draw the ribs in, navel the spine. Exhale, up and over, lateral bend to the left. Inhale, back up. Let's do it four more times. Just flowing with the breath, exhaling over, inhaling the center. One more. And drop the weight down. Roll your shoulders a couple times in both directions. And left arm comes up, right arm is down. Draw the ribs down, engage the core, relax through the butt and the quads. Take a deep inhale, exhale up and over to the right. Inhaling, center. Flow with your breath. We've got three more. And then drop that weight down, roll out the shoulders again. Nice, keep checking in, keep rolling the thighs around and out. Pushing down through the heels, weight in the heels and in the outer hip here. We're gonna start with arms down at our sides and we're gonna bring them up. Have a slight bend in your elbows and keep reaching the shoulders down the back. So we're gonna go here for eight more. 
Move with your breath. Engage the lower belly. Keep pulling those hips apart. And check in, roll out the shoulders. Change your foot position now. So we are gonna engage all of the glutes now. Send the toes apart and bring the heels together. So it's like your feet are in a V. So quick check in on my feet here. They're separated, maybe my toes are maybe shoulder width, heels are together. I'm zipping up my inner thighs and firing my butt this time. So Pilates V position. The arms are gonna come up shoulder height. Bend in the elbows. And arms are parallel with the floor. We're gonna bring the knuckles together, palms facing you, and then send them back out. Engage the belly, keep drawing the ribs down. Relax the neck and shoulders. Yeah, feel the mid back here engaging. Feel the lats, the shoulder blades, all the muscles associated with the shoulder blades moving. Squeezing as you come back. We call it hug a tree in Pilates. Then lower the arms, shake it out a little bit. <clears throat> we're going to stay in the Pilates V. We're going to bring our hands together, palms facing in, right at your pelvis, so arms long, slight bend in the elbows. Draw the ribs down, engage the low belly. This time we're going to zip the arms up to our chins, really feel the shoulders reaching down your back here, and then zip it right back down. So this is going right along your body. Looks nice, everybody. Feel the shoulders relax down as you zip the arms up. Yeah, move with your breath. Make sure the neck is relaxed. Four more here. This is work even without weights. Look at all those weights. <coughs> One more. Relax it out, check in. <coughs> Let's step it back to parallel feet. Again, outside edges parallel with your mat, so it's a little bit pigeon-toed. And I'm gonna go so that you can see me side profile. Again, the thighs roll out, the quads relax, the butt relaxes, the outer hip is what holds you up here. All these hip flexors. Bring your arms out in front of you, shoulder height again, relax the shoulders down the back, Draw the navel in and up. Think of hollowing out the belly, engaging your abs. Keep the elbows parallel with the floor. We're going to bend in and extend. A little bit more bicep work. Sounds like y'all had a little bit earlier. If you were in Jennifer's class. Nice. So keep moving. Joe, you can up it here to like 50 pounds, knee chain. <laughs> I'm having problems with five. <laughs> yeah, keep the shoulders reaching back. Keep it an abdominal exercise so the core is still working. And then arms come out long. We're going to send it back. And then lift back up. Palms face the sky. Reach it back. 
Draw the shoulder blades down, feel a little bit of squeeze, feel the triceps work. And then send it back up, shoulder height. Keep the shoulders reaching down. Let's do eight more. Keep pushing down through the heels. Think of those thighs rolling out. Oh man, somebody in my neighborhood just ordered pizza. <laughs> so Lunch! Lunch time! I can't count. Let's do two more. And then relax the arms down, shake it out. How are you feeling? We're feeling tired. Feeling yeah. tired? Like they've been working? Let's see, let's do um, at least one more. So come down on kneeling on your knees. And I'm gonna be side profile again so that you can see me. If you can, you can sit so that your heels are reaching up to the ceiling. If you wanna get a little stretch to the toes, you can even sit on the toes. <coughs> I'm gonna lift my pinky here and set it out. So really stretch your pinky toes out. We've got a nice little stretch to the toes. I'm gonna keep that stretch going. You don't have to. Toe scrapers. <laughs> Feels good to me, but not to everybody for sure. Toe scrapers. <laughs> so re-engage through the core. Draw those ribs down. Think of the hip bones pulling apart. Lean forward a little bit here, but try to do it with a straight spine. So don't round the spine. See if you can keep it straight. So you may only lean forward an inch or so. It's a lot of core work just to hold it there. Arms are going to come, hands in a diamond shape, right at your forehead. So holding your weights or no weights, either way. Elbows are out wide, so I'm here. We're going to shoot the arms out to a 45 degree and then draw them back to our forehead. So keep the navel reaching into the spine. Keep reaching your sit bones back behind you. Make sure you're engaging through the mid back and pulling those shoulder blades down your back. hard work just to hold that straight spine. How's it going? Three more. And relax the hands down. Shake out the feet. You can pat them out. <clears throat> Nice. All right, let's come down onto our right sides. So you can lay flat down on your mat with a block or your blanket under your head. Or if you want to add a little more challenge, come up onto your elbow. Bring that elbow um, right under the shoulder and spread the palm wide. So come onto your right side first. And then try to stack hips, stack shoulders, and send the legs out in diagonal out in front of you. And then take a moment to check in, make sure that you're not dumping down into your shoulder or your belly. Lift it up. Feel like you're pushing down with your elbow. Your right side body is way lifted up off the mat. We're gonna keep it lifted and then float the left leg up, toes pointed, reach it back and send it forward. Make sure that your range of motion is small enough that you're not rocking your body forward and back. So you wanna keep pushing down through the elbow. You wanna reach that top leg out long. 
Keeping the core engaged, play around with your range of motion. And then pause, hover the feet over one another. Check in, re-engage through the core, pushing down with that right palm. Externally rotate that top hip, so you're rolling it out. Toes face kind of towards the ceiling. We're gonna lower and lift. Keep reaching the leg along. And again, your range of motion is only such that your body is not moving, your upper body. You can flex the heel down, point it up. If you want to add a little ankle movement in. Two more. And roll it out a little bit. Keep the upper body lifted. Bring your heels together, and I'm going to send them back so that my heels are in line with my uh, shoulders and hips. So heels, shoulders, hips are aligned. You're still lifting on that right side. We're gonna raise the left knee and lower it. So make sure the ribs are still drawing down, the belly's still engaged. Your eye gaze is right out in front of you. Two more. And then go ahead and lower down. Grab something for under your head, if you have it. Stack shoulders and hips. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. And they're right out in front of you. Bend your out long in front of you. Re-engage the core. Think of the right ribs lifting up off the mat. We're going to reach the left arm forward and then we're going to send it up to the ceiling and send it back. You can watch the hand with your eye gaze and then roll it back forward. So a little bit of Twist through the mid back here. Make sure you keep your left knee reaching forward. So you can just keep your head lowered and you don't have to follow the eye gaze if that hurts your neck or your, yeah, you don't have to keep looking at your hand. You can just circle the arm if you want to. So you can circle it down, up and around. Do a couple times and then reverse the circle. Really take your time with it, get a good stretch. And then um, bring your hands back down. You can just lower your left palm to the mat. Keep the knees bent at that 90. We're gonna bring the heels though back in line with our uh, hips and shoulders. And then lift your heels up, float them up about six inches off the floor, squeeze the knees together and then open. So that same clam that we did, only now we're lifting the feet. You can think of going into a Pilates V with the feet. You can explore with how far back they go. And then lower down, come onto your belly. Nice work, shake the hips out, rock them side to side. Send the arms out long overhead here. Push the pubic bone into the mat, draw navel to spine. We're gonna float the right arm and left leg up. 
and move into a little swimming motion here. So the right arm, left leg are lifted and then switch. So you can lift your head up above your mat and keep floating it or you can keep it lowered. Try to keep the legs reaching long. Nice, and then relax it down, push back, find a child's pose. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come back up and roll to our left sides. <clears throat> Again, so grabbing your block so you'll have it handy. Lowering all the way down with your bottom arm, your left arm under your head, or have that left elbow right under the shoulder, stacked shoulder to <coughs> hip. And legs come out at a diagonal in front of you. So check in, make sure you're not dumping either into the shoulder or with that lower body. So none of this, more of that. Draw the ribs together, navel to spine, pointing the toe or sending it forward and back. It's hip height. So again, play around with your range of motion, keeping it small enough that the body's not swaying forward and back. And check in too that you stay stacked and you're not rolling open. And notice if that feels harder on this side than it did on the other side to not roll it out. Reach that top leg as long as you can. Reach it out away from the body. And then feet come back towards one another, but we're going to Externally rotate through the right hip here, lower heels down, and then lift. Keep lifting through the lower body and not dumping into the shoulder. You can point up, flex down. One more. Nice, bend those knees, send the heels so that they're in alignment with shoulders, hips. Externally rotate through that upper leg. Make sure you're not dumping, navel the spine, and begin to squeeze the knees together and lift. And I'm kind of externally rotated here through both hips. Ribs are drawing in, navel is in and up. Hopefully everybody's still breathing. We're done with arms at least. Two more. And relax it down. Grab your prop if you have one for under your head. Make sure your back is in one long line, shoulders hips stacked. Knees are bent in a 90 degree angle, so the knees are kind of out in front of you. Shins parallel, arms come out in front. And we're gonna reach the right arm long. And then we're gonna swing it up to the sky, send it back behind. Again, you can follow your hand with your eye gaze or not, depending on your neck. Keep the belly engaged, keep the left ribs lifting up off the mat, at least in theory. Keep pushing that right knee forward. And begin to circle the arm if that feels good to your shoulder. If 
Find a good stretch in between those rotations. Reverse the circles. Maybe one more. And then we're going to push down with that right hand. Send the heels back so that they're in alignment with your shoulders and hips. Lift, re-engage through the belly so that the left side body is floating. We're going to lift the heels up six inches. Squeeze the knees together and open. Keep reaching the neck long. They look beautiful. Keep squeezing and opening. And lower down, hug the knees into the chest a minute. Nice work. And go ahead and roll back onto your back. Take your feet as wide as your yoga mat and send knees side to side. Go slowly so that you get a good little stretch. <coughs> And then feet flat on the mat, knees up. We're going to finish with a little bridging. So bringing those heels in towards your sit bones. Reach the arms long. Re-engage through the core, so draw the ribs down. Move with your breath as you exhale, roll it up bone by bone. Inhaling long at the top. The ribs are staying down. Push down through the hands. Drop the sternum, drop the upper back, mid back, low back down to the mat. Finally, the hips and sacrum. Do that two more times. Exhaling to roll up one bone at a time. So you're trying to circulate through the spine. So moving as slowly as you need to to get the spine moving. Flowing up and down with your breath. One more. Curling it up. Notice where you've got some chunks and spine's not moving. You can play around with those areas. Roll back down. Rock the legs side to side when your tailbone drops down. And then we're going to roll up and then hold our bridge. So re-engage through the core, draw the ribs down, push down through the hands, begin to lift the tailbone, articulate up one bone at a time. Check in at the top. Maybe the heels can come in closer, reach the knees along. Push down with the hands. You can hold here, hold the bridge, or bring your right knee to your chest and float that right leg up to the ceiling. So if you're there, check in, level out the hips, and you can lower and lift that right leg. Do it three times, bend the knee, and then lower that foot down. Re-level out the hips. Push down through the heels, roll the spine down one bone at a time. Nice work. Let's do the other side. So rolling it back up one bone at a time. <coughs> Inhale at the top to check in, draw the ribs down, push down through the heels and hands. Bend that left knee into the chest. Float the left leg up towards the ceiling. 
If you're there, lower lift, keep the hips level. One more time, lowering and lifting. Then bend the knee in, drop the foot down, level out the hips first, and then drop the sternum and the upper back, rolling back down to the spine, to mid back, low back, pelvis, all the way down. And then do a few more windshield wipers. Check in. Relax through the belly now. So grab your block, blanket, whatever you had to elevate your sacrum. We're going to place it right underneath the sacrum. So that elevated bridge position. And you want the block to be low enough that your pubic bone is higher than your hip bones. So it's like if your pubic bone is the highest point in, in your abdomen, and then it's just rolling down towards the mat from there. But make sure it's not hurting your, your tailbone. So take a minute to just completely relax here. So now we're just moving into a stretch. Try to relax through the pelvic floor and the belly. Take a few breaths to focus on your sternum, your breastbone. Take an inhale and then as you exhale, Think of the sternum just melting into the mat. So not using any muscles here to try to make that happen, just allowing everything to soften so that you get that melting. So one more inhale and one more exhale to melt the sternum down. And then move into your ribs. As you inhale, let them expand as you exhale. Feel them melt down towards the mat. You're just growing heavier and heavier. So one more deep breath, exhaling to let the ribs fall. And then just keep relaxing, melting further. Think of your hip bones and your sit bones widening out. So feel as expansive as you can in the pelvis, the pelvic floor. Softening. So really you can stay here as long as you like. If you really want to do some myofascial release work with it, you would want to stay here five to 10 minutes. But when you're ready, we're going to use uh, as little muscle work as we can. We're just going to use our hands to push the block out from under us. Roll to our side. And then put that top hand. So thank you all for joining me.